All right. Today, we're going to learn how to use a quadratic formula. Here's an example of a problem. You throw a baseball straight up in the air at 18 meters per second, and it's going to land on the ground 1.2 meters below where you threw it. How long does it take from the time you let go until the time it hits the ground? So we start this like any kinematics problem, listing our variables, starting velocity, ending velocity, acceleration, displacement, and time. We know that the starting velocity is 18 meters per second in the upward direction. We know that on Earth, gravity accelerates all objects at 10 meters per second squared in the downward direction. And we can see that the displacement of the ball is going to be 1.2 meters also downward. Because we have up and down that are mixed in the same problem, we do need to assign a negative direction. We are going to make down negative. So looking for time means we don't need velocity, so we use our don't need v equation. d equals v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. Plugging in our numbers, making down negative, we have negative 1.2 equals 18t, and half of negative 10 is just minus 5, so minus 5t squared. Now, at this point, we can see that there's a t, there's a t squared, and there's a number in the problem. This is what we refer to as a quadratic equation. And so, to solve a quadratic equation, one of the methods that we can use is the quadratic formula. That's what we're going to learn today. The first thing we need to do to solve a quadratic equation is to put it in standard form. Standard form is where we have zero on one side and everything else on the other. So in this case, it's going to be easiest to do by adding 1.2 to both sides. So then we end up with zero equals negative 5t squared plus 18t plus 1.2. Remember, we did add the 1.2 to both sides. So standard form for a quadratic equation, like we said, zero on one side, everything else on the other. And when we have it this way, the number that is multiplied by the t squared is, we call that a, the number multiplied by the t, we call that b, the number multiplied by this, well, by itself, we call that c, the constant. So in our problem, we can see that the solution, what's referred to as the quadratic formula, then the solution is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So we have our problem where it's in standard form, so we just need to plug the a, b, and c into this formula. And let's see how we do that. So our problem, remember, 0 equals negative 5t squared plus 18t plus 1.2. So our a is negative 5, that's multiplied by the t squared, our b is positive 18, and our c is positive 1.2. Plugging that into the quadratic formula, we have t equals negative 18 plus or minus the square root of 18 squared minus 4 times negative 5 times 1.2, all divided by 2 times negative 5. So let's simplify this a little bit. 18 squared is 324. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20, times 1.2 is negative 24. So minus a negative 24 makes that plus 24. And then divided by 2 times negative 5, that becomes divided by negative 10. So, simplifying this, we have negative 18 plus or minus the square root of 348, all divided by negative 10. The square root of 348 is 18.65, and notice the plus or minus gives us two solutions, one where we do plus and one where we do minus. So, negative 18 plus 18.65 divided by negative 10, and negative 18 minus 18.65 divided by negative 10. So, if we solve these out, we get these two answers. Time is either negative 0.065 seconds, or time is positive 3.67 seconds. We always choose the positive value for time, because negative time doesn't really make sense. You know, the, the, the ball is not going to hit the ground before I threw it. That's what negative time would mean. So it makes sense that we would choose the positive value for time. And that is how you use the quadratic formula. So congratulations, you did it. You now know how to use the quadratic formula.